All right, guys, let's talk about these batteries here. We got a pallet of these ones in here. It's on one of these, another small batches of batteries, but this one, I think they're gonna be coming in regularly, or at least that's what they told us. You know, there's no guarantees, but apparently every month there should be some, you know, like a pallet, half a pallet to one pallet of them. So I think it's useful for us to go through them and tell you what they are. Okay, so they look like this. They have this little Molex connector in here. We don't know what these batteries were designed to power. Uh, so we don't know much more than what's in here. Um, it's a lithium ion battery, 14.4 volts, 4.1 amp hours, 59 watt hours, right? Um, and then the rest is just nothing very useful here. So 4.1, let me see. So that's, uh, there's two, there's eight cells, 14. That means it's a 4S. For uh, 2p, right? Uh, so there's two cells in parallel. So together they're 4.1 amp hours, right? So that means what? They're like 2,000 milliamp hours. Oh, that's pretty weird to have an 18650 be less than 2,200. But according to this, so I took one of these apart and I looked into the cell. It's a Molly cell INR 18650A. Right, and I'm looking at that here, and I can't seem to find that specific model. All that keeps coming out is the 20, is the P26A, which is a high current uh, Molly cell with like 35 amps, right? But I don't think this is it. Now, this BMS here has these MOSFETs, which are. 4955N, and these, when you look at them, for them, you realize that they are 30 volts, 48 amp MOSFETs, right? Uh, and channel MOSFET, so there's four of them. Uh, so that means this is probably could put quite a bit of power. And then, uh, then there are maybe evidence of that, and the fact that three of the cables are the negative, and then three of the cables are positive that are going into this little plug in here, right? So the, this is probably like a high amperage or high power battery pack. Um, the Molex connector, let's look at that, is a 43020-1001. That is the mating connector to this one right here, right? This is the... Uh, I don't know, this is the female, and then the male would be this one over here, I think, right? Is that what it is? I don't know if they call female or male on this one, uh, on these Molex. But this is exactly the connector that you would want, and you can search for that, and then now you would have a mating connector. I'll put a link to it on uh, one that I found on Amazon. Now, the rest of this stuff here, the rest of these cables, I... They're data connectors, and we I don't know how to use them. We don't know what they are. But of course, this is designed for some, probably some proprietary equipment, which we don't even know what it is. And so therefore, we, we can't look it up, right? So for right now, what I wanna do is I wanna test the internal BMS to see how much uh, power they'll give it before it stops working, right? Or before it shuts down. So let's test that right now. All right, here's our setup. Here's our load. It's a heater that is going through a 12 volt inverter uh, that is going through a uh, meter here to measure how much power uh, we're gonna get out of the pack. And right now it's continuously getting 10 amps. We're gonna increase that and see where, if we can find out where this quits. And um, gonna apply more so that's 10 amps 13 okay so about 13 amps all right so there you go that's just another one of our small lots of batteries that we have uh check jack 35 we get a bunch of them all the time we kept new ones and so if you're looking for a good deal on sales we're always putting stuff out there right so thank you for watching this video we'll see you on the next one Bye. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good
Free. 